Last week, I was one of the thousands of passengers, my family and I were just a few of the thousands of passengers who were affected by the cancellation of over 2,000 American airline flights. Now, people were livid. They were furious. There were customer service lines wrapping around the airport. People were yelling at gate agents. They were short with each other. I, I almost witnessed a fight break out the, in the airport. A guy on my flight had to be escorted off by a police officer for being so belligerent to a flight attendant. I mean, it was like the world had gone mad. So a few days later, I called American Airlines to see if I could get a refund for the flights because we had to book our family on additional flights from a different airline, get hotel rooms, transportation, the whole nine yards. And a man named Henry answered. Now, I started by saying, Henry, I just want to say that I know none of this is your fault. I'm sure you've been treated pretty poorly over the past week. I know there's a lot going on. I just want you to know that I know that you were not personally responsible for this. And then I proceeded to explain what had happened to see how we could resolve the issue. And Henry stopped me and he said, I just have to tell you, you're the first person who has said anything nice to me in the past five days. When I have talked to passengers, you would not believe the names I have been called. You would not believe the profanities that have been spewed my way. And I can't tell you how much I appreciate you just being a kind human being. Now, it's November. It is our random acts of kindness challenge. And this was not even meant to be an act of kindness. It was just simply saying, I feel you, I hear you, I know this isn't your fault. And something that simple, Henry told me, turned his entire day around. You know, kindness. It's this concept of the helper's high was started researching or getting studied in the 1980s. And since then, numerous studies have shown all of the benefits of kindness. I mean, everything ranging from improved cardiovascular health, immune function, lowering of stress hormones, activation in the pleasure centers of your brain. I mean, there's just a million different reasons to be kind. And right now in a time where we see so much volatility in the world, so much uncertainty, so much frustration and all of these emotions that have been bubbling up for the last two years as folks have been just exhausted from being part of a global pandemic, I want to encourage you to just be kind. Say something nice to someone, give them a compliment, or the next time you have to call a customer service line, just acknowledge to the person that you know it's not their fault. These simple little acts make a huge difference, not only on your health, but on your well being. In fact, research shows that recounting or remembering an act of kindness activates the pleasure centers of your brain. So I appreciate you be, being part of this random acts of kindness challenge. I hope that you are feeling better physically, psychologically, emotionally, just from doing nice things for other people. And remember, it could be as simple as letting someone know you appreciate them. See you soon.